Next, let's discover the footer panel. In here, there's a simple text area where you can enter your own HTML code that will be displayed into the colophon, the very bottom of the site. This is enough if you just need to have a minimalistic footer, for example, with some simple copyright information. Alternatively, if you want to build a more complex footer, you can also use WordPress widgets, populating the widgetized area called Footer Full. For that purpose, there's a link in the setting description that brings you directly to the widgets administration backend, or if you prefer, you can use the front-end widget shown in this video. Let's run a test populating R to see how it works. In our footer example, we'll have an HTML section, a meta links widget, and an opt-in form for MailChimp. The chosen widgets are displayed in the site's footer area, horizontally stacked into equal width columns on desktop, and as you would expect, vertically stacked on mobile. So this is basically how the PicoStrap footer works. As a last note, similarly to what we've said regarding the header section, if you are using the Live Canvas plugin and need more footer customization power, you can enable an option called Handle Footer. This option will completely override the theme's footer and will allow you to use the Live Canvas editor to handle it. This can make sense for designing complex and custom footers. There are some pre-built options that can help you step in the right direction, and then you can easily custom code what you need. But let's disable this option and stick to vanilla PicoStrap as of now. Let's go back to the widgets panel. First of all, in here, we can review the footer full widgeted area that we've been building minutes ago. This appears here only if you've populated the footer widgets from the backend as shown before. As you can see, there's an interesting notice on top here saying that the theme has another widget area, but this particular page does not display it. So let's create a page with the sidebar template and launch the customizer again. To activate the sidebar on this page, select the page with sidebar on the left option in the template list. OK, let's publish and browse the page. OK, now we can see the main sidebar and edit its widgets. With the WordPress block editor tool, we can add, edit, or delete any block. The PicoStrap theme does only display this sidebar on pages where you explicitly want it by default. As you can see, all the widgets and also other site elements have this big blue pencil on the side. You can click the icon to immediately navigate the customizer to the corresponding editing panel. It works for the footer and the header as well. Pretty nice. Let's go back to the customizer overview and discover what's next. Let's now view the homepage settings panel. In here, you Pico Strap does not provide anything special. This is just plain WordPress stuff, but we're going to do a quick recap anyway. Like the description says, these settings let you choose what's displayed on the homepage of your site. If you're using the Live Canvas plugin, but not only, you'll most probably want to set the first setting, called your homepage displays, to the second choice a static page. After doing so, another setting appears, allowing you to choose which page should be used as home page. Please mind that only the published pages are listed in the drop-down menu, so before asking yourself why your newly created page doesn't appear in here, make sure you've actually published it. Further below, there is another drop-down called Posts page. This makes sense if you want to have a blog in your site, like a news section that lists posts in a chronological order. This option lets you choose which page should be used to host the blog articles listing. This will be the main archive listing all posts. Let's see how it looks like. Technically, this page does use the home.php template file of the theme. Okay guys, that's it. I hope this video has been useful for you. If this was the case, I'd really appreciate if you click the like button.
By the way, in order not to miss our next updates, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Thank you.